Hello, welcome to my channel. It's Carolyn from the Purple Poncho. Today I'll be showing you how to make this beautiful 12 inch square. This is part of the wedding cowl going on, the wedding blanket cowl going on with Marley Bird. These squares were created by Joy Creators and we put them all together and gave it to one of the red hearted uh, girls when she got married. So we thought it would be fun to have a crochet along. So here's my contribution. This is the back. Has a lot of texture to it. Here's the front. Has uh, popcorn, some front post stitches, some petals. You can see a peekaboo color behind the petals with a lot of texture, some X stitches around the border. So let's get started. I'm using a size I hook and we're using the chic sheep yarn three colors place a slip knot on your hook chain four and then slip stitch to that first chain it makes a circle chain three that counts as our first double crochet. Place the work the tail around your chain circle and work over that tail. And place eleven double crochet in this same space. I now have eleven more double crochets made and I'm going to slip stitch to the top of my chain three and that's a total of 12 stitches. I'm going to pull this tail snugly and it cinches up that hole. Okay, so that's round one. Round two, chain three, place three more double crochet in the same space or stitch. So you have a total of four double crochet in the same stitch. Skip the next stitch and put four double crochet in the next stitch. Skip the next stitch or double crochet in the next stitch. To end the round, slip stitch to the top of the chain three at the beginning of our round. So we should have four double crochet in each stitch, and well, every other stitch. So we're skipping a stitch, four double crochet, skip a stitch, four double crochet, and we're gonna have six sections. So we have 24 double crochets, and that's the round two. Okay, so round three. We're gonna chain four. And that counts as one double crochet and a chain. In the next stitch, put one double crochet and then put a stitch marker around that second double crochet. And that's for our next round. We'll know where to start. So we're just marking it for our next round. Chain one and double crochet in the next stitch chain one, double crochet in the next stitch, and keep repeating this all the way around. And you should have 24 double crochets and 24 chain one spaces at the end of round three. Okay, for my last stitch of the round, chain one and 
slip stitch to the third chain of your beginning chain four. Leave a long loop and place another stitch marker in the loop. So we're not going to be using this color anymore, but I don't want to end it off. Okay, so next we're going to pick up the blue. So put a slip stitch on your hook. And we're going to be placing our first, we're going to be working our popcorn stitches. And we're going to be working on top of round three. We're not going to work in the stitches, we're going to work around the post of this round. So I'm going to take out my stitch marker because this is my live loop right here and I want to start in the next post directly after that stitch. So I'm going to start with a standing double crochet. So yarn over, insert front to back and then bring it back to front and I like to fold it in half so I'm working just around this post and just complete your double crochet as normal we're going to place four double crochet around this second post to complete the popcorn take out your hook drop the loop, insert your hook in the first stitch, pick the loop up again, and bring it through that first stitch. Chain three loosely, open up your work, and we're going to skip the next double crochet, and we're going to do a popcorn around the next double crochet. So four double crochet around this post. Take out your hook, insert it in that first stitch, pick up the loop, and pull through. Chain three loosely. Skip the next stitch and work your next popcorn around the next double crochet. And complete this all the way around. You should have 12 popcorns and then 12 post stitches that are not worked into at the end of this round. Coming around to finish off this round, we're going to skip the next post as usual, skip the first popcorn, and slip stitch in that first chain after that first popcorn pull that through. So it's curling up like a little bowl. Looks kind of funny, but that's how it should be. So if yours is looking like this, that's correct. Now we're going to take off that stitch marker and put this loop back on our hook. So now we're going to be working in the spaces behind the popcorns. And then we're also going to be working around these posts in front of the popcorns in, in between each one. So we're going to be going from the back to the front, to the back, to the front. And we're not going to be working in these chain threes in the blue, uh, the blue thread. Alright, so to begin, We're going to slip stitch into that ch first chain one space behind this popcorn. And we're going to chain four, that counts as the first treble. And then we're going to 
make another treble in that same chain one space. So that, that's two trebles because this chain four counts as one treble. We have another treble. Now we're going to place two treble in the next space on the other side of the popcorn. So we're going to have two treble on the right and then two treble on the left behind each popcorn. Now we're going to do front post treble around the double crochet in the front. We're going to place two front post trebles. Now working in the back again, we're going to get that chain out of the way, chain from this popcorn round, round three. We're going to find that space on the right of that popcorn and we're going to put two trebles there. There's one, two. To the left of the popcorn, two trebles there. There's one, two. Now we're going to work around the front post of the next double crochet between the popcorns. Two trebles, front post trebles. Going around to the back, two trebles in the next space. And two trebles in the next space. So that's how it's looking. So on the back you're going to have one popcorn here and two trebles on each side of it and then your front post stitches and then the next popcorn you're going to have two trebles behind it two in each space and then the front post so you can check your work from the back as well making sure you have two trebles in each chain one space all the way around and then making sure you're working into each double crochet stitch between each popcorn all the way around. So these are the front post stitches. And continue around to finish your round. Okay, coming around to the last couple of stitches, we're going to put two front post treble around that last stitch there in the front, and then we're going to simply st slip stitch to the beginning chain four. So you can see it's flattened out, it's not as bowl shaped, but it does have a, it does indent a little bit but it's laying flat now and at this point I like to measure so I have five and a half inches and on the back you can double check and make sure you have like I said four trebles behind each popcorn or two trebles in each chain one space okay. and then you have two front post trebles around each of the double crochet that are located between each popcorn so you have 24 front post trebles and you have 48 trebles around the back okay so the next round <clears throat> round six we're going to chain four and we're going to place treble stitches in the next four stitches. So here's one, two, 
three, four. So we've increased by one stitch in our little groupings. So now we have five trebles in the back. And now we're just going to do front post treble around that first stitch in the front and another front post treble around that second front post treble. And now working in the back again, five trebles. So one, two, three, four, five. And then in the front, front post treble around that first front post treble stitch, front post treble in the next stitch. So you're just following the pattern here, meaning if you have front post treble, then you just continue those up. So you have five trebles in the back, two front post trebles around the front and you're going to continue all the way around in the same same way ending round six with a slip stitch to the top of the beginning chain four so in round six you have five trebles and two front post double crochets or front post trebles I mean so you have five trebles and then two front post trebles in the front so you have you have 60 trebles because you have 12 groups and you have five in each one and then you still have the 24 uh, front post stitches. Okay, so for now, for round seven, we're going to turn. Okay, so just turn your work, and now you have the wrong side facing you, and we're going to slip stitch in the next stitch. which is actually in between the two front post stitches from the front but now we're working in the back but we're slip stitching into the in between those two stitches so I'll show you again turn your work and just slip stitch in the next stitch should be those two front post stitches there, so right in the middle. Okay. Now we're going to chain six. And we're going to skip six stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six. And that puts us right again in that same position or same stitch, the two front post stitches. We're going to slip stitch in the middle of those. So chain six again. Skip over to those front post stitches and slip stitch right there. And you can count skipping six stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six slip stitch between those front post stitches. So repeat that all the way around. End the round with a slip stitch to the beginning chain. We're going to place a stitch marker in there in the loop. And now we're not going to work with this color until round 10. So we're just going to let that hang out. 
So now we're going to make the petals. So with the suede, place a slip knot on your hook. And you can begin in any chain six loop that you want. I'll start here. And we're going to place a standing single crochet. Let me show you that again. And just insert your hook and yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through both loops. So that's one single crochet. Two half double crochet. Four double crochet. One, two, three, four. Two half double crochet. One single crochet. Chain one. So we have ten stitches in each petal. I'll repeat that again. Single crochet. Half double. So one single, two half doubles, four doubles, two, three, four, two half double crochet, and one single, chain one. Skip over to the next chain six space and repeat this for each 12 chain six loops. Finishing the round, chain one and slip stitch to the beginning single crochet. End off your yarn. So here's how it's looking. And it's measuring Tiny bit more than eight inches. So it's okay because these are surface anyway. They're not going to be. They're going to be on top. So if you're right around eight inches or so, that's fine. So next we're going to be doing uh, round nine, which is going to be underneath these petals. So we actually work it from the back side or the wrong side facing to make that effect. So it's going to be putting these little stitches here and then it's going to be appearing underneath the petal. So it looks pretty difficult but it's actually not. So let me show you that. So I'm going to be using the blue again. Just a slip knot on your hook. Okay. And this is the right side, and we're going to be working from the wrong side. So, And on this round, it doesn't, it doesn't matter what stitch you start in, in, you know, in the location, but it does matter, it does matter which stitch. Okay. So, we're going to be working front post stitches and we want to start in the group of five okay you know remember how we had the group of five in round six okay here's our front post stitches right here these two so we want to start in that working around that next stitch after a front post stitch so it doesn't matter what group of five but start in that first post after a front post treble. Okay, so we just did a front post treble here. We're going to do another one. And now we're going to place
place two front post trebles around the next stitch. There's one, two, and then one front post treble around the next two stitches. So there's one in that stitch and one in the next stitch. So now you should have six front post trebles in this group five of five down here, round six. Chain two, and then we're going to skip over to the next treble. We're not going to be doing anything with the pedals or the front posts in the front or anything like that. We're just strictly working in the back. So we're going to do it again. One front post treble in the first stitch and the next stitch. One front post treble. Two front post trebles in the next stitch. So there's one, two, and then one front post treble in the next stitch and another one in the next stitch. Chain two. So you have six, chain two, and six. The front it looks like magic because it goes underneath here and brings this little V-stitch forward and then it's behind the pedals. So Again, just working with the group of five. You have the chain two and you just start putting your trebles, front post trebles. Again. Two in this one. And one in the last two stitches. One there and one here. Ending round nine chain two and slip stitch to the beginning stitch. Get off that color and now measuring eight inches. So next we're going to grab our stitch markers, for round 10 we're going to mark the spaces where the corners should be, and I also suggest that you double check your stitches and make sure that you have 6 in each group of 12 with chain 2 in between. In round 10, we're going to be making the corners. So our first corner is going to be right here. So I'm going to, well, actually I can use this stitch. I only have four of these, so let me see. Okay. So I'll put this one here. This one's going to go here. So that's our first corner. We're going to skip two and place another stitch marker in the third chain two space. That'll be another corner. Skip two. 
for another stitch marker in the third chain two space. Skip two. Put another one in that last third one and then we should have two in between. So we have four stitch markers and then we have two chain spaces in between each one. Okay, so where the stitch markers go, that's going to be our corners. So to begin round 10, put, put the loop back on your hook and chain two. And that's just going to get us up to our round nine space. So we're going to slip stitch into that chain two space where we have our stitch marker for our corner. So that's just to get us up there to the height that we need. So now we're going to begin round 10 uh, stitching. We're going to chain four. Counts as our first treble. And next we're going to be doing a front post double treble. So yarn over three times. And working along the front in round six we're going to pick up that first stitch and we're going to do a front post double treble. So yarn over and pull through two four times. Okay. A pico is chain three. Slip stitch into that first chain. It's a pico. And now another double treble. Yarn over three times. Find that second front post from round six. And complete our front post double treble here. And just do it kind of loosely. Okay. And now we're going to do front, front, uh, sorry, we're, we're going to make a treble in that chain two space. Oops. Where our stitch marker is. So this is a corner, our first corner. We have two trebles in the chain two space. And we have two front post double trebles with the pico in the middle. So now we're going to be working along the side. And we're going to start with treble, four double crochet, one, two, three, four. Half double in the next stitch, half double in the chain two space. Now front post treble in the first front post treble of round six. Pico. And another front post treble in the second front post treble of round six. And then half double crochet in the chain two space, half double crochet in the next space, four single crochet, one, two, three, four, half double in the next stitch, half double in the chain two space, front post treble, around the first front post stitch of round six. Pico. Another front post treble in that second stitch from round six. Half double crochet in that chain two space, half double crochet in the next stitch, four double crochet, and 
treble in the next stitch. So that is one side. So we have 33 stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33. So we have 33 stitches, counting every stitch in round 10 on one side. So we're going to repeat that three times. So that's one, two, three, and then we're going to finish it off with the same stitch count on the last side. So I'll show you one more time. Okay, so now to begin in the next corner where our stitch marker is, I'm going to do a treble in the chain two space. Run over three times for a double treble. Come down to round six, pick up that first front post treble. Go around that stitch and do your front post double treble. Pico. Run over three times. Front post double treble around that next treble stitch. Oops, lost it. Trouble in the chain two space. That's your corner. Corner made. Now working along the edge. Treble. Four double crochet. Half double crochet in the next stitch. And the next space, chain two space, front post treble, pico, front post treble around that next stitch, from round six, half double in the chain two space. Half double in the next stitch. Four single. One, two, three, four. Half double in the next stitch. Half double in the next space. Front post treble around that first treble in round six. Pico. Post treble, half double crochet in the chain two space, half double crochet in the next stitch, four double crochet, and treble in the next stitch, and that's side two. We're making it square now. So continue the same all the way around. Finishing up my last stitch on round 10. The last stitch might be a little tricky to find because we did that um, beginning chain two and slip stitch into that chain two space. So make sure you don't skip that last uh, treble stitch here on the end. And then slip stitch to the top of the beginning, chain four. Okay. 
So that's round 10. And we have four corners. And you should have two front post sections in between each corner. Here's the back. It's kind of hard to tell it's a square yet, but it will start forming now a little more clearly. So the measurement at the end of round 10, not quite nine. Eight and a three quarters or so. Okay, so for round eleven, we're going to slip stitch into the next stitch. Chain four counts as our first treble, and then we're going to treble in the same stitch. Now we're going to do a front post treble around these two stitches. We're going to pull the pico forward, yarn over and pull through, and just complete your stitch like you normally would. So what that does is it brings this to a point and it pops the pico onto the front of your work. So let me show you that again. So you're just doing a front post double treble, like we've been doing. So just go underneath the two front post double trebles, just slide it right in there. But pull your pico forward, hold it down, and then do your yarn over and pull through. And then pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. So that's one side of your corner. Okay, that's half your corner. Chain two. We're going to do three trebles in the next stitch, which is right behind the pico, and it can be a little hard to see. So if you crochet tightly, you're going to have to really look for that. So it's right there on the other side. So put three trebles. One. three and that's your corner now working down the side I'm going to do one treble next stitch and then six double crochet one two Three, four, five, six. Okay, now we're up to our next pico. Okay, so yarn over. We're going to do a um, front post half double crochet. So we're not going to work into this stitch here, but we are going to go underneath like we did before in the corner, but we're going to do a half front post half double crochet. So in yarn over, insert your hook, pull the pico forward, yarn over, pull through, three loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through all three. And that's one stitch, one half double post double crochet. Then we're going to do the same thing and we're going to go right after that pico and put another half double crochet. Okay. And then we're going to put what are we going to put? Mm. 
seven half double crochet. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, and then we're back to another. We're going to do the same thing half front post half double crochet going underneath these front post trebles. Pull your pico forward, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through all three. And it, it pops it forward. Okay. Find, pull, kind of pull it apart a little bit. And we're going to do a half double in the next stitch right after that pico. And then we're going to do six doubles. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then we're going to do a treble in the next stitch. And then here's where we're going to start our next corner. So that's one side. So we've got 31 stitches. There's 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31. And we're going to repeat for the other side. Well, all three sides. We're going to, all four sides really. There's one, two, three. And then coming back around, we're just going to do the same repeat one more time up to the corner. So let me show you this corner again. Okay, so this corner, we're just going to put two trebles. And we're going to do a front, front post treble around these two posts by, and pull your pico forward, hold it down, yarn over, pull through, and then yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, chain two, and then three trebles in the next stitch. On the other side of that pico, two, three, another corner, treble in the next stitch, Double crochet in the next six stitches. Uh, the stitch marker is driving me crazy. That's five, six, half front post, half double crochet around. The next two front post stitches behind the pico, and then one half double crochet in the next stitch directly on the other side of the pico, and then seven half double crochet one, two, three, four, five. Seven. And then front post half double crochet around those next two front post trebles <laughs> behind the pico. And then half double crochet in that stitch right after that pico. Can be hard to see. 
and then six double crochet one two three four five six treble in that last stitch and you're ready for your next corner kind of you can really start seeing how it's shaping into a square now so by doing this uh, front post stitch around these front post stitches <laughs> and behind the pico it you can see how it finishes it off if we didn't do that it would still have a gap here and this pico would just kind of get lost down in here. It wouldn't really stand out. So that's why we're that's why I put the stitch there. Okay, so just continue around. Finishing up the last stitch of round eleven. The treble in the last stitch. And slip stitch to the top of the chain four. So the measurement now is right around nine and a half. Nine and a quarter. Okay. Round twelve. We're going to slip stitch in the next stitch, chain two counts as our first half double, half double crochet in the next stitch, in our corner is going to be half double crochet, chain two, and half double crochet. So every corner is going to be the same, half double crochet, chain two, half double crochet. And next, going down the side, we're going to place one half double crochet in each stitch across. And you should have 31 stitches. By the time you get to this last stitch here, right before your corner, you should have 31. Going straight across, not counting your corner. So each side has 33 stitches. So you have two in the corner and 31 across to the stitch right here before your next corner. And you just repeat this across. You get over here and in the corner, you put half double crochet, chain two, half double crochet. One half double crochet and you stitch across and continue all the way over here. Okay, we're at the end of round 12 and I'm right at 10 inches measuring. So for ending off, I just slip stitch to the top of the chain two. Okay. Now our next row is going to be making X, stitch X stitches, double crochet X stitches. So we're going to start in any corner. Let's start in this one. And we're going to do a standing double crochet. And I'm only going to do part of the corner to begin with. I'm going to finish the, the rest of my corner when I come back around. Okay, so we're going to be working in the third back loop, which is this loop back here. You see the V? It's going to be that very back loop. So we have a V right here in the front, and then we have another loop behind it. 
So that's the stitch we're going to be working into. And we're going to be skipping our the first stitch, this one right here. So we're not going to work into that one at all. And then when we do a next stitch, we skip the first stitch. So we're going to skip the first stitch, which would be this one. And we're going to go into that second one. Well, third one, actually. It's our third this third stitch over in the back loop only. So this is a part that might be a little confusing on this row. And then we're going to go back to the skip stitch. And we're going to do our double crochet in there. It probably doesn't look right right now because we don't have all our stitches in. But at the beginning of each um, side, we're going to skip that first stitch because we have 31 stitches on that on each side, and we're using two stitches for each X stitch. So anyway, that's how it works out. So we're going to skip the next stitch, double crochet in that third back loop in the next stitch, and then we're going to go back and put a double crochet in that skipped stitch. Skip the first one, go in the next one, then go back into that skipped stitch. So we're going in that back loop, third back loop, double crochet, back loop, double crochet. And we're going to place 16 X stitches across. Okay, coming up to my first corner here, I just wanted to show you my my last X stitch on this side. Okay, now I have 16 X stitches going across. And now I'm at the corner. And I'm going to do double crochet, chain 2, double crochet. So now going on my next stitch, going down the next side, again I'm going to skip that first stitch and then I'm going to have to skip the next stitch because that's how you start your X stitch. <laughs> so then I'm going to go into that third stitch in the back loop and do a double crochet, go into that second stitch and do another double crochet. Okay. And then just keep repeating this X stitches all the way across. And then I'll see you when we get back over here. I'll show you how to finish off this round. Okay. Finishing my last stitch of round 13. This is my last X stitch. And we're going to do a double crochet, chain two, and then slip stitch to the beginning stitch. I didn't leave enough yarn. So that's how you finish your row. And the reason why we, we skip that first stitch, we have actually 33 stitches across. And that's how we get 16 X stitches, because we use 32 of those stitches. So we're skipping that very first stitch after the corner. Okay? So we have 31 stitches in between the corners. But when I said earlier <clears throat> that we have 31 stitches, that didn't make sense. So we have 33 stitches skip the first one and then we work in each stitch across and we have 16 X stitches on each side. Okay, so now for round 14. Oh, let's see the measurement. Getting close here. Let's see. 11. So we have one more inch to make it a 12 inch square. Alright, 
so we're we're on round 14 and now we're going to be working single crochet stitches so we're going to start with the uh, standing single crochet in the in the corner and we're using the color suede and then again we're going to just do half of our corner we're starting with just half of it so the first stitch is going to be single crochet in the next stitch now the rest of the stitches on the side are going to be in the space and then in between the X stitch and then in between the stitches so we're always working in the space not in the top of the stitch it separates them a little bit So you do this all the way across. You get to your corner. You're just going to work single crochet, chain two. Okay, so in the corner. Work over that tail. Chain two, single crochet. Okay, now we're going to work in that first stitch. We're just going to go right in the stitch. <laughs> now we're going to go in the spaces. And that's all you do all the way around. Okay, so my last corner here on round 14, you just single crochet in the corner, chain two, and then slip stitch to the beginning single crochet, and end off. So you have 36 single crochet on each side, so counting from on the right side the corner. Two stitches here and then 34 single crochet all the way to here. Okay? Alright. So now, measure. About 11 and a half. And it's still kind of like fluffy. <laughs> Once you block it, it'll be a little flatter. So for round 15, we are starting with linen. Join with a sing standing single crochet in any corner. And we're going to skip the first stitch. And we're just going to single crochet across after that in each stitch. One single crochet in each stitch across. So each corner is going to have three single crochet. So when we get across to the edge, across this edge and we get to the corner, we're going to put three single crochet here we're going to skip that first stitch right here and we're going to single crochet all the way across and repeat that all the way around and when we get back over here we're just going to place our last stitch here and then we're going to put two single crochet in our corner to finish off our beginning corner I'm on my last two stitches of round 15 going in the corner Work two single crochet to make that corner complete and then slip stitch to the beginning stitch. End off your yarn. So there we have it. 15 rounds. Pretty square. And it should be 
12. 12 inches. It's good to measure as you go along so that when you get to your outside rounds, uh, your decorative outside rounds, you can adjust the stitching if you need to. So if you crochet tighter and you need more more width or length, you can make these stitches half double crochets instead of single crochets if you need to. Or if you're <coughs> crocheting looser and you have too many, too much um, inches, you can just end on maybe this row here, row 14 instead. So you can adjust it like that. So I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial on how to make this beautiful 12 inch square. I'm not sure what I'm going to call it yet, so that's why I'm not naming it yet in my video, but uh, anyhow, I hope you've enjoyed it and we'll also follow along with the other designers that are making their squares for this um, wedding cow blanket, wedding blanket cow. So here's the back. Alright, so follow me at thepurpleponcho.com and all my social media links will be there and in the description below as well. And thank you for crocheting with me today. And please uh, send me a photo or uh, tag me on Instagram at thepurpleponcho if you uh, make one of these so I can see it. I'd love to see your squares. Alright? Okay, have fun with it and you can just put any colors and you can put more color, you can put less color. I mean, it's going to look great. Uh, whatever colors you decide. All right. Have a great day. Thanks.